Good morning friends and welcome to another video. I'm going to be doing a realistic clean with me today. So I'll be cleaning, organizing, doing a little refrigerator clean out and restock. I'm also going to restock our drink fridge in the garage which is so satisfying to watch. And then of course just getting our house back in order. I'm also going to share a grocery haul, a yummy dinner recipe, and then prepping some overnight oats for breakfast. So I hope this video gives you tons of motivation to get some things done around your house today and that you feel like you're hanging out with a friend while you clean or get your to-do list ready. All right, you guys, so it is bedding day. I'm going to be washing our master bedding. I'm gonna get it started in the washer first thing this morning. I typically try to do a few loads of laundry a day and Tuesdays are my bedding days. Um, so I'm filming this on a Tuesday. I also wash the bedding every other week. So one Tuesday, I wash the master bedding and then the next Tuesday, I do the kids bedding in the same day. Um, but I'm curious to know, how often do you guys wash your bedding? I know some people do theirs every single week, and that's awesome. I just can't seem to get ours done that often. But there's nothing better than climbing into a bed at night with freshly washed sheets. Also on this day, I did do a grocery pickup order and I will share a little grocery haul with you guys a little later in the video. But first I wanted to give you lots of cleaning motivation, get this house back in order, and then I'll show you guys the grocery haul. So here you can see we've just got the everyday clutter all around the house. If you've been here for a while, you know this is just how my house gets with having kids in and out constantly. Um, we always have neighborhood friends over, they're always playing, and then we have sports in the evenings. So sometimes, I'm just telling y'all, just being completely honest, sometimes we just get very lazy after practices and I'm not very consistent with getting the house cleaned up in the evenings. So we do try to keep the kitchen for the most part clean after dinner, but other than that, like the clutter and things like that, I try to pick up throughout the day or right after the kids get home from school, they pick it up, but then of course it ends up being a mess again five minutes later. <laughs> Okay, so it is no secret that I absolutely love Grove Collaborative. I've actually been shopping with them since before I ever even started my YouTube channel. But one of my favorite products are these reusable sandwich bags. I love using them for snacks for the kids, but I also use them for little storage bags in our drawers. And also when the kids are taking their toiletries and stuff, I use them for traveling. And they also have lots of different designs to choose from too on their website. But I am excited because today I'm partnering with Grove Collaborative to show you their Grove Co. cleaning products. You can get these sustainably powerful products delivered straight to your door this Earth Month. Did you guys know it was Earth Month? <laughs> and new customers will actually get a free starter kit with their first purchase. Now I love the Grove Co. cleaning products because I'm able to use a lot less plastic and also have healthier cleaning products in my home that are very powerful and do a great job actually cleaning. The glass soap bottles and spray bottles are beautiful and of course help cut down on plastic. And all of the Grove Co. scents are made with natural fragrances and no harsh chemicals, but smell amazing and work great too. So Grove Collaborative actually has a mission to become plastic free by 2025. There are so many Grove Collaborative products that I shop for on the regular, so you'll see me use a lot of these throughout this video, but in case you're wanting to try them out and you're wanting some recommendations on products to try, I will leave a list for you guys of all of my favorite cleaning products and other gadgets and things that I get from Grove Collaborative down in my description box for you to check out. And then I'll also have a link and a code for you to get a free gift set with your first purchase. 
So this little drying rack is actually from Grove Collaborative. I love it. And here on my sink, you can see I've still got my spring Grove Co. limited edition products that they had for spring, which I love that they do these seasonally. They're all so pretty. I've also got some European dishcloths from Grove Collaborative that are like reusable paper towels. And then the walnut scrubber sponges, my little sink caddy, and all of my brushes here on the sink are also from Grove Collaborative. All right, I'm taking a quick break from the kitchen. I will go back in there and finish cleaning in there later, but I'm gonna be making a little recipe, so I figured I would clean up after I get done cooking. Um, so I'm gonna move into the living room. I am tidying up in here. The kids had some clothes from over the weekend that I still hadn't put away. Um, they had spent the night with their grandparents, and so I had to put those things away. And then, of course, you know, all the other everyday clutter and toys. Now that the downstairs is pretty much tidied up, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out our refrigerator. And typically it's smarter to clean out your refrigerator before you go grocery shopping, but that didn't happen. So I just threw all my groceries that needed to go in here um, to be cold in here. So now I'm gonna actually clean it out. I try to do this every couple of weeks. So you'll see it's not too, too bad this time, but there have definitely been times in the past where I've gone like a month or even a month and a half and have found some really gross stuff in my refrigerator, but luckily that's not the case today. I'm gonna wipe it out, get it cleaned out, throw any bad foods away, and then restock the refrigerator. Now, like I said earlier, I actually picked up a grocery order on this day, and I have found that Tuesdays for me are a way better pickup day for groceries. Now, really quickly, I'm using this e-cloth. All you need is water with this. So I'm gonna use this to actually wipe out my refrigerator. You can also get e-cloths from Grove Collaborative. They're amazing. And you can clean anything and it disinfects with just water. So I love these. I'm gonna use this to clean down the refrigerator and then I go back over it with a dry microfiber cloth to wipe it up. But like I was saying, I feel like Tuesdays started working out better for me to do my grocery shopping because Walmart, if I wanna shop at Walmart, or actually any grocery store for that matter, tends to be super duper busy on Mondays. Also, for us, we are typically gone all weekend, not at the house, we're usually at baseball, or a cheerleading competition, or something else where we are barely even at the house. So for me to get things prepped and ready for Monday morning is just impossible on Sundays. So I've been trying to do most of my prepping for Monday mornings on Fridays, and I will go ahead and like plan out what we're gonna eat for dinners the next week, and then I will make sure that when I do my grocery shopping, I grocery shop for Tuesday all the way through to the next Monday. So that way on Monday, I can be getting things ready around the house. I can still, you know, prep some things, get whatever cleaning needs to be done on Mondays around the house. But then on Tuesdays, I can pick up our groceries and start prepping for the rest of the week. And I have always wanted to be one of those people who was able to like get all the prep work done on Monday and have all of our stuff ready for the whole week or even get it done on Sunday. But usually Sunday evenings, we're exhausted and we're doing good just to get showers and get in the bed at a decent hour. <laughs> But speaking of groceries, where is your favorite place to shop for groceries? I know for a while I would not do grocery pickup orders from Walmart because they were having lots of issues like having my stuff ready by the time, you know, it was supposed to be ready or I'd get there and I'd be waiting for an hour to two hours sometimes and they still weren't coming out with my stuff. So 
Um, but it seems like it's gotten a lot better. I gave them a shot a couple weeks ago, and now I've been doing Walmart pickup again for a few weeks. And like I said, it's been on Tuesdays instead of on Mondays. But a lot of people have been telling me about Aldi. We have one. It's in Savannah, so it's about a 30-minute drive from my house. Um, but a lot of people have been telling me Aldi is so worth it to shop there. So y'all will have to let me know what you guys think if you do shop at Aldi. What are your favorite things to buy there? Is there anything that I need to check out? Because I've only been to Aldi one time ever and I was a little intimidated. <laughs> um, but now that I know how, you know, the carts work and to bring my own bags and all that kind of thing, then I think I'm more comfortable shopping there. So I do want to go give it another try, but let me know any favorites that you guys suggest for me to try out. I once felt I'm done with the defense Throw back and climb over your fence Hide to show, show you that I was a mess So you were shrugging your shoulders Some close stuff, that's what I told you Soon enough, everything started to change Cause there's no going back no going back, there's no going back to your own life Not Living in the past, we're over there, I'm feeling it tonight Riding on the dizzying high Stop us, sunsets, remember the colors They were wrong, it was way more than a dream We climbed up, you yeah, over the hillside So right, we stood there all wide-eyed You and I, floating on air in my mind Cause there's no going back, no going back There's no going back to your own life Feeling it tonight, riding on the dizzying heights. All right, now the refrigerator is all stocked and ready for the week. It looks like we hardly have anything in here, but we do have a lot of food and a lot of protein. A lot of our veggies are actually frozen for our dinners and stuff like that, so those are in the freezer. But for the most part, I feel like we are ready for the rest of the week. Okay, another thing I like to do on Tuesdays is go ahead and prep our dinner for the night before the kids get home from school because Gracie June has tumbling after school and Kaysen has baseball after that. So this just makes it easy when we get home. I can just pop it in the oven and don't have to worry about any of the prep beforehand. So I also like to cook enough to where we have leftovers on Wednesdays. So usually Tuesdays are like a, t a casserole type dinner. Um, so tonight, I'm going to actually make a super easy dinner, and I'm going to show you how to make it. So here are all the ingredients. I've got some protein penne pasta, some Rouse marinara sauce, the already cooked and seasoned rotisserie chicken from Walmart, some mozzarella cheese, lots of mozzarella cheese, and I also didn't show this, but I'll be putting Parmesan cheese on at the end as well. So this is easy. You're just gonna cook your pasta. I use a little bit of oil so it doesn't stick to the pan. And then after you boil your pasta, you're gonna drain it. Then you just dump in your chicken and sometimes there's big chunks of chicken so I like to just pull those apart and make them a little bit smaller. Then dump in your pasta sauce and some mozzarella. I just kind of eyeball everything until it's the consistency that I want. So if you want more marinara, you can add more. I think I did add, I end up adding a little bit more marinara um, that I didn't show on camera. But also, I ended up adding a little bit more mozzarella. And then I'm just going to take it, dump it into my baking dish. 
add some more mozzarella and Parmesan cheese on top, and then I'm just throwing it into the refrigerator until I'm ready to cook. And then when we get home from practice, some days I come home with Gracie June and Chance is with Kaysen and they get home a little bit later. But some days I have to take Kaysen depending on what Chance has going on with work. But when I'm ready to cook it, I just pull it out of the refrigerator and cook it on 375 for about 35 minutes. And here's what it looks like all cooked and we usually serve it with the Kohl's like cheesy breadsticks. They're so good. Okay, let's clean up this mess really quick before I show you the overnight oats recipe. Right now it doesn't even matter. So for the overnight oats, I'm just doing a third cup of oats in each of these little glass mason jars. You could also do them in a little plastic container. A half a cup of almond milk, but you can use whatever milk you want. And then a little squirt of honey. And I'm using the sugar-free cheesecake jello mix and just putting about a tablespoon of that. And then a little bit of chocolate chips, just a little handful and some fresh fruit and I'm gonna mix it all up and then stick it in the fridge and they can actually sit in the fridge for up to five days. So you can see a few of the jars I did just strawberries, the other one I did blueberries and these were so good. Um, Y'all will have to let me know if you want some more overnight oats recipes because I have been making them pretty much every week. I usually only do three days though because some days I like to eat eggs for breakfast or um, just kind of switch it up, but usually about three days a week I've been doing the overnight oats. Also, if you guys have any yummy overnight oats recipes, let me know down in the comments. Now we're out in the garage, and as you can see, I've got lots and lots of drinks to stock up in the fridge, but before I do that, I wanted to tackle our shoe rack because it's gotten out of control and there's no room for any more shoes. So. I need to go through these, figure out which ones are too small for the kids so that we can give those to our friends and then only have the shoes out here that need to be out here. So these are all the shoes that are too small for my kids, so we're giving those away to friends. And then I took some of Gracie June's shoes inside. They were like nicer shoes that didn't need to be sitting in the garage. And then out here on our shoe rack, I just keep all of the work boots, the cleats, um, our like beach sandals, things like that on this rack. So this is not a perfect system, but it looks so much better. I do wish that we had some sort of like outdoor hall tree type thing right here where we had cubbies that we could put our shoes in or something. I don't know. I've been looking for something that would work. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know. All right, we are ready to stock the fridge. This is all that was in here. We've still got some protein drinks for the kids, but I'm going to wipe this down really quick and then I'm going to start stocking with all of our favorite drinks.
I don't know if I'm just weird, but y'all will have to let me know if you feel the same way, but restocking the refrigerator, like watching videos of restocking the refrigerator or the drink fridge is so satisfying to me and gets me really excited about grocery shopping and cleaning my refrigerator out. All right, I just got back from Walmart, so I figured I would share with you guys what all I got for this week. Um, we've got our veggies over here. So we've got some mushrooms, broccoli, a zucchini, and an onion. This is all for Thursday night's dinner. I got some deli turkey, some Canadian bacon, and then this rotisserie chicken. It's so good. It's already pulled and seasoned and everything. I love throwing this on like pitas for little pizzas, um, wraps, all kinds of things. So I got that. Cinnamon rolls for Friday's breakfast. Some of these balance breaks for snacks for either us or the kids. Um, mozzarella cheese. Some protein penne pasta. This is going to be for a um, chicken parmesan pasta casserole that we're doing. Some Prego marinara sauce. I've also got the Rails um, marinara sauce, but I figured I would get a little bit more just in case I needed a little extra. Um, and they were out of the Rails, so I got that. Egg whites, some light mayo, and then I got four things of these ready rice basmati. I wanted jasmine, but they were out, so I got basmati instead. Um, and then we've got all of our fruits. So we've got some grapes, blueberries, strawberries, Granny Smith apples, and then some more snacks. We have some goldfish, a staple in our house. Kason wanted these flaming Hot Cheetos, so I got those. Pretzels, and then I got these to try out. I've never tried these before, but they're the Pure Protein Puffs, so they're supposed to be like Cheetos, and then this one was the Scorching Hot, so kind of like the flaming Hot Cheetos, but they have extra protein in them. It says they have 18 grams of protein for each pouch. And I think it comes in a, a set of four. Yeah, I think there's four packs in here. So I'm gonna try those out. Hopefully they're good. We've got Pop-Tarts, some Greek yogurt, a few Lunchables. I just get them the turkey and American ones. Oh, I thought I asked for chicken nugget ones. Maybe I messed up and didn't do that because I didn't get any. Um, some pretzels, which these are more like Easter colors. So I got those to go into their snacks. Usually I do trail mixes. So I'll put like goldfish, pretzels, or I could do the yogurt covered pretzels, um, popcorn, just little trail mixes for their snacks for the week. And then we've got some chocolate chip muffins from the bakery, some blueberry bagels, and then some fish muffins. So. That is my little grocery haul. I'm gonna go ahead and put all this stuff up real quick. All right, it is actually the next day and I am filming cleaning in the kitchen. I did not finish filming in the kitchen the day before. It was cleaned up, but I ran out of time for filming for that day and needed to quickly clean. And I don't know if you guys know this, but when you're filming cleaning videos, it actually takes at least twice the time to clean a space than if you were doing it without filming. So anyways, it's the next day and I'm going to just quickly clean here in the kitchen. I'm using the method degreaser here on my stove top. I also get this from Grove Collaborative and I like to use a wet sponge to just kind of clean it up first and then I wipe it down with a microfiber cloth. Loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now Yeah, loving me was all you tried when you were around I've been told too many times now But somewhere Now here I'm just wiping down this countertop with the Grove Co. Multi-Purpose Cleaner. I have several different scents from the Grove Co. line and they all smell amazing. 
So I don't know if you guys saw me earlier in the video, I was kind of carrying my phone around with me. And if you ever see me carrying my phone around with me while I'm doing some cleaning like this, it's because I'm either listening to an audiobook, talking to a friend, or watching YouTube videos. And on that particular day, I was actually listening to an audiobook. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do when I'm cleaning or even driving in the car or working out is listen to audiobooks. And so the one that I just listened to was called Pieces of Her, and I think it's actually a Netflix show or movie or something. I haven't watched it yet, but I finally finished the book, and it was pretty good. Um, I wasn't crazy about the ending. I guess I kind of thought there was going to be a bigger twist than what there was, but um, it was pretty good listen. It was quick and easy, and overall, I would probably give it like three stars maybe if I had to give it a rating from one to five stars but but if you are into books reading books or listening to books um, and want some recommendations I actually try to review all the books that I listen to over on my Instagram account and then I have a highlight that's just saved for book reviews so if you want to check those out you can um, my favorite genre is like the thriller mystery suspense type genre but every now and then I like to listen to a different genre like romance or something. Um, right now I am actually listening to a book called The Weekend Away. It was recommended to me on Audible. So I'm listening to that right now. It's pretty interesting. I'm liking it so far. I don't even think I'm halfway through it, but it's pretty good so far. But anyways, just thought I would let you guys know in case you were wondering what I was doing when I was carrying my phone around. Can't you see that I just need to be by myself? I have told you many times now. But somewhere going high, looking for a new star. Yes, somewhere going high, looking for a new star. All right, now that the kitchen is all clean, I can finally move on to the floors. I'm going to actually vacuum both of the rugs with my Shark Uplight Vacuum. I have been talking about this vacuum for years, and every now and then it will actually come back in stock on Walmart's website. So I do like to leave the link in case it's in stock and you want to snatch it up before it goes back out of stock. But I've also been looking into different Shark Vacuums to purchase to try out for you since this one is rarely ever available. The one that I've been looking at is called the Rotator Liftaway Vacuum because it's a, it's about the same price as when I bought this shark. Now this one's actually cheaper now because it's so old and plus it's discontinued. Um, but this one is on sale right now. The one that I'm looking at is on sale right now at Walmart for like $2.89. And it's called the Rotator Liftaway Vacuum. Um, it's very similar. It has the self-cleaning brush roll so that long hairs don't get wrapped around and tangled up on the brush roll, which is awesome. That's one of my favorite things about this vacuum. And it also has a bigger dustbin than this one, which I love. So I'll link that vacuum too in case you want to check that one out until I can get it in and review it. But um, it's on the Walmart website and uh, like I said, it's on a rollback right now. Okay, so now I'm gonna actually do my hardwood floors with this vacuum. It's actually a vacuum and wet mop at the same time. So it's called the Tenko iFloor 2. They actually have a newer version, but I have the iFloor 2 and it works great. And all you do is go around and vacuum your floors and it's picking up all the hair, the dirt, everything, but it's also mopping my floors at the same time, which I love. And this just saves me so much time when I'm doing my floors because now I no longer have to go around and vacuum all of my hardwood floors 
and then pull out my mop. I can vacuum and mop at the same time. Now I do still pull out my O Cedar Spin Mop. I actually shared the new Rinse Clean O Cedar Spin Mop in my last video. So if you want to see how that compares to the regular O Cedar Spin Mop, go watch that video. But I love the O Cedar Spin Mop mainly because I know that I'm getting a really good deep clean and I can actually wash my baseboards at the same time as my floors. So I do still like to pull out my O Cedar Spin Mop and clean with that at least once every couple of weeks. I leave the TV on, I'm done with your sad eyes. I can take another night with you on like this. So let's go, I'm sure you can take it. You've been crying over him for a lifetime. So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep. Another cause that we can fly with the baseline. He's a vagabond, he won't love you better I can watch you sinking down on the bottom ship So come to send then again, Mississippi You've been crying over him for a lifetime So if you don't mind, we will dance till it's way past sleep Another cause that we can fly with the baseline Now here you see all the grossness that this mop picked up. I love pouring this out and showing you guys how dirty my floors are because everybody's always like, oh, you're cleaning a clean home. And trust me, I don't have time to clean a clean home. <laughs> but look how dirty that water was and how much that vacuum mop got up. I think it's amazing. All right, so the last thing I'm gonna do for this video is some laundry. I'm actually watching the second season season of Bridgerton right now. Have you guys watched it? So far, I'm on episode three, so I'm not very far into it, but I'm loving it so far. I did watch season one and it was so good. Everybody keeps telling me that season two is even better, so I'm loving it. And this is just what I'm doing while I'm getting my laundry done. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Um, I know I didn't get any spring cleaning done for this video and I have been doing like a whole spring cleaning series So if you guys have missed those videos, I'll leave a link to the playlist down in my description box Where I've been tackling all of my spring cleaning one room at a time I actually spare, uh, shared a spring cleaning checklist for you guys to use you can download it for free and print it off and use it for yourselves or even add things to your list. So I did not have a chance to do any spring cleaning this last week, but next week I will definitely have some spring cleaning for you. So get excited. I can't wait to share with you what I've been working on. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Got tons of motivation. If you need even more motivation, I'll leave some really good videos here on the screen for you. And then like I said, I'll have some videos down in my description box that you can check out. Y'all don't forget to subscribe before you leave and introduce yourself down in the comments. Also, I have that Grove Collaborative link in case you want to check that out and get a free gift with your first purchase. I hope you guys have an amazing week and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.